Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, and today I want to talk about Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This was of course revealed during Nintendo's Direct this week, and when the trailer first dropped, I went through this sort of interesting moment of trying to sort of guess what it was. At first I was like, oh, this looks like the new Splatoon. Wait a minute, this looks like it could be Mario Odyssey 2. Then it looks like it could be The Last of Us set in a really fun world. Then it looks like it could be Nier Automata. No, it is a Kirby game, and this looks awesome. This is basically Kirby in a 3D platformer style adventure, a big sort of departure from what you typically associate with Kirby. The last time we got sort of a mainline Kirby game was 2018 when we got Kirby Star Allies. And again, normally you associate Kirby with sort of a side perspective platformer, that kind of experience. And this is my jam. Like I love 3D platformers, Mario Odyssey. I mean, for a while I've been kind of hoping they were gonna announce like Mario Odyssey 2 or the next 3D Mario game, whatever they end up deciding that to be. But this looks really cool. So I thought I'd take a moment to just sort of chat about what we know, which admittedly isn't too much right now, but we did get, of course, a nice look at some gameplay. We got to sort of see some abilities, so I thought we'd go over that. So if you guys are excited for this or you guys do enjoy the video, then a like would be super appreciated. And also don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new here or you haven't done so already, so you don't miss our future uploads. Now, first things first, the initial sort of official description for the game from Nintendo's website says, join Kirby in an unforgettable journey through a mysterious world in a delightful 3D platforming adventure. It says you take control of the powerful pink puffball Kirby and move around freely in 3D stages as you discover a mysterious world with abandoned structures from a past civilization, which is just hilarious. It just seems like a very sort of different setting for Kirby. But regardless, that's kind of cool. They even said like a shopping mall and other locations like that. You can, as you would expect from Kirby, copy enemies' abilities like sword and ice and then use those to attack and explore your surroundings. What journey awaits Kirby? Take a deep breath and get ready for an unforgettable adventure. And this is coming spring 2022. Again, no exact release date, but basically, it's next year. And this honestly looks really cool. Again, like I said before, I love 3D platformers. I love sort of those kind of games. Recently just sort of finished playing through Kena Bridge of Spirits, different kind of thing, but similar sort of vibe to the gameplay. Again, Mario Odyssey. And these are the sort of games that Nintendo just do really well. But it's just really, really cool. Like the setting is so nice. Like this almost like, it sounds funny to say, but post-apocalyptic setting for Kirby, and like running around a shopping mall, seeing all these derelict areas, sort of tunnels, scaffolding, broken buildings, yet using your abilities to sort of navigate around it, it looks fantastic. And of course, knowing that Kirby can borrow abilities, that's gonna make for some fun platforming gameplay, some fun sort of light puzzle elements. I say light, because it's never gonna be hugely complex in here, but regardless, working out how to sort of solve those things and like navigate around with all of those abilities is gonna be really cool. Also, can we just get a shout out for the uh, crazy looking gorilla with the mohawk at the end? That is a badass looking boss. But again, flow wise, it effectively does look like Kirby Mario Odyssey edition because you seem to follow the typical flow, you'll get to the end of it, you will of course collect this game's equivalents of stars at the end and you would then probably go to the next location. They haven't really spoken much about the actual structure of the world just yet. If I had to hazard a guess, I would imagine it would be something very similar to the Mario games you know, Mario Odyssey, other games like that, whereby there's probably like a hub world and then you sort of jump into different locations to sort of travel to these new areas. I imagine that's probably more likely than say a full open world. So that's how I would expect the game to play out. And of course, taking a look at some of the abilities we've seen in the trailer, we see Kirby having your familiar floating ability for navigating around. We see you being able to fly on the star. Maybe that's just how you enter the stage. We'll have to wait and see. And then some of the abilities you sort of steal from enemies. We of course see the sword ability, which, you know, kind of like Link's hat, liking that one a lot. There there appears to be sort of like a wind ability you can use to pull things towards you. There's the spiky hat, so of course for clearing out enemies. There's a frost ability, so you can of course freeze your enemies. And again, that's just a small selection. And that's kind of all we have right now. It's only a super short trailer, but it was nice to see some gameplay. I kind of want to sort of say this came out of nowhere. However, unfortunately, just before the direct, this was leaked. But honestly, I was kind of fortunate I didn't get to sort of see that myself. So this one caught me completely by surprise. But either way, I'm very much looking forward to it. I like these kind of games, and this looks like a lot of fun. So that's it for the time being. That's a little rundown on the trailer. Again, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if this is a game that you would enjoy and do keep it locked for plenty more. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.